5S is a Japanese lean approach to organizing a workspace, so that by making a process more effective and efficient, it will become easier to identify and expunge muda. 5S relies on visual cues and a clean work area to enhance efficiencies, reduce accidents, and standardize workflows to reduce defects. The method is based on five steps. Sort. Straighten or set in order. Shine. Standardize. Sustain. Phase 1. Sort. During the sort phase, all items or materials in a workspace are reviewed, removing unneeded items and keeping necessary resources. Consider the copy room in an office. Over the years, supplies, tools, and machinery have piled up. When going through the room, teams might decide that the stapler and scotch tape stay. People still need to staple pages or access tape. The old paper cutter isn't necessary for the team, since no one ever performs paper cutting duties. However, someone notes that the team in shipping and warehousing has to manually cut pages down sometimes, so the paper cutter is relocated to that department. The team decides to toss a bin of miscellaneous loose paper and an old fax machine because a new copy machine includes fax capability. By eliminating obstacles and unnecessary items, costs, time, and employee frustration are also removed. The sort step lets you take inventory of an area, discover unused or wasted resources, and make room for reorganization. Sort can also be applied with computerized processes. Phase 2 Straighten or set in order. Once excess is removed from the work area, teams must provide a streamlined and easy task location for everything necessary to the workspace. During the straighten phase, every item, tool, or material is given a home. To facilitate ongoing organization, the location of resources should be labeled clearly. The idea is to create a workspace that anyone could use. If someone from another area comes to your copy room, it should only take a few seconds to locate the right size paper. Employees in a factory should be able to move from station to station, finding equipment and tools with ease. The goal is to provide the visual controls that allow for common sense operation. Labeling a shelf for letter-sized paper, arranging sockets in size order in a drawer labeled sockets, or parking the forklift in a marked area of factory floor when not in use are all good examples. Labeling the stapler with a label maker is an example of things going beyond common sense. You don't need to label items that most people in the workplace would recognize on site. The straighten phase also works well in a digital environment, especially when computers or systems are used by a variety of people. In an office that has a shared workspace policy, computer desktops might be pushed out by technical resources so that the same programs are available to everyone. Not only are all programs the same, but the icons are in the same location on each desktop so users don't have to search for programs if they move to a new workstation. Phase 3 – Shine The third phase in the 5S methodology is targeted to keeping the workplace clean and neat. Seizo can also be translated to sweep, sanitize, or scrub. The goal is to shine the workspace by cleaning it, maintaining equipment, and returning items to the proper place after use. In a computerized environment, the shine phase can be accomplished by naming files in a manner that makes them easy to locate, keeping folder structures intact, and deleting or archiving files that are no longer necessary. Shine can be applied to any environment, physical or digital. Phase 4 – Standardize The standardize phase is used to maintain the progress achieved in all previous phases. By keeping high standards of orderliness in place, the benefits of the 5S methodology can be long-term. The stress and speed of a daily workday can make it hard to keep up with the 5S standards. If everyone is committed to working together, the benefits can be ongoing. And finally, Phase 5, Sustain. 5S only works if everyone on the team or within the organization commits to the process. Employees must follow the rules that are set up for standardizing and sustaining the organization. Otherwise, the team enters a cycle of cleaning up after a period of failing to keep up with the standards of 5S. The overall benefits the 5S method includes Reduced risks of accidents and safety issues Increased compliance with regulations from organizations such as Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA. 
a foundation that makes additional improvements easier to implement. Waste is easier to identify and eliminate. Production and quality are generally improved. All of these benefits translate to increased profits and customer satisfaction, which are the overall goals of the Six Sigma methodology.